All right, Shalom. This is Brother Nahalia. Brother Rakaya. Brother Isaiah. This is Great Millstone Orlando Camp. We're going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaya Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. All right, you got it, brother. Let's get on. We're going to start with uh, Psalms 39, verse right. 1, 1 through 3. And it's about staying in the spirit, man. Staying on fire, enduring. The Lord right. say we're supposed to be hot. On fire, not lukewarm, not cold, but hot. So this is um first precept is David saying how he felt pertaining to the wicked. Go ahead, all right, you got it. Psalms 39, verse 3. Verse 1. Verse 1. Psalms chapter 39 and verse 1. I said, I will take heed to my ways that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. Right. I was dumb with silence. I held my peace, even from good, and my sorrow was stirred. Mm. My heart was hot within me. While I was musing, the fire burned. Then spake I with my tongue. Hey, get that word musing for me. So King David was yeah. like a uh, hot man, seeing how the wicked was uh, prospering, seeing how they was doing wickedness, right? I also talking about two-thirds of Israel too, man. But he said, the point was, verse 3, he said, what, what, what read it again from my verse 3? Uh, Psalms 39, verse 3, my heart was hot within me. Right. While I was musing, the fire burned, then spake I with my tongue. That fire, man, because he wanted to tell the wicked that they was going off what they were doing, man. But, you know, he said he held his peace, man. But the fire was burning hot in him. The point of this lesson is about being hot on fire, man. And you can't, you can't. Like, if you in the spirit, you ain't going to sit on this truth, man. I did a lesson yesterday about, hey, how, how you got these jakes. They know the truth, but they sitting on their napkin. They sitting on their talent, man. Hiding in a napkin. But if you fire, if the Lord got the spirit on you, you're going to push the truth, man. You get that word musing? Right. This is uh, the word musing in uh, Psalms 39, verse 3. It says, Hagegyek. Hagegyek. It says, from an unused root, akin, properly a murmur, complaint, Meditation, right. music. Meditation, man. So David said while he was meditating, man, the fire was burning hot in him. Hey, get on um, Sirach, uh 4 to 8 and 1. I got one while you're getting there. Come on. Isaiah 62 and 6. Right. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Right. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. And if you don't fight for the truth, man, you're going to constantly bring the truth out, man. It tell you in Psalm 19, it say, day unto day utter speech, and night unto night show of knowledge, man. Okay? You're going to stay bringing this truth out. Hey, uh, on that, um, if you want to read the last verse, get a Revelation 3 and 15. I had that queued up. You got okay. the, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I had it queued up. I was holding it. This is Revelation 3 and verse 15. Right. It says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou wert cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Hey, and in the lesson I did yesterday, man, when you read 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8, the Lord say, the wicked shall be revealed, right? And he shall be consumed by the spirit of the Lord's mouth, man. What's the spirit of the Lord's mouth? His prophets, man. Mm -hmm. So you're going to always stay on fire for the truth, man. Hey, read that Isaiah 6, 2 again. Con. This is uh, going back to Isaiah 62 and 6. And it reads, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Hey, man, that's being on fire, man, for the truth, man. Okay? That's being on fire constantly, man. You can't be over-righteous, but you're supposed to always be on fire, hot, man. Hey, get um, you got that Sirach 48 and 1? Yeah, come on. Bring that out for me. This is Sirach 48 and verse 1. It says, Then stood up Elias the prophet right. as fire, and his word burnt like a lamp. Right. Mm. He brought a sore f a sore famine upon them. Right. And by his zeal he diminished their number. Hey, mm. by his zeal, man. Mm. That zeal is what? Stand on fire, man. 
You're going to continually be hot. And we know what happened, what Elias did, man, when you're reading Kings, man. Okay, right. he brought down fire and killed captains and, 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 and um, the, the, the ones that was over the captains, man, and their armies, man. Ball. That zeal, so man, ball. stand on fire, man. All right. Read it one more time, Mark. It says, uh, Sirach 39, 38 and 1, then stood up Elias, the prophet, as fire. Right. And his word burnt like a lamp. Right, he said, and the word burnt like a lamp. And hey, get Jeremiah 5 and 14. Right. I was, I and was hold right Jeremiah there. 20 and 9. Uh, I got 29 right here. Done. Bring that out. Uh, this is Jeremiah 20 and 9. Right. Then said I, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. So Jeremiah was like, man, I ain't saying nothing. They, hey, Jeremiah was based because Jake was being wicked, man. What well, that is on the, on the... A little better. Okay. Jake, uh, uh, Jeremiah was facing the spirit, man, because Jake was being wicked. So he's like, you know what? I ain't saying nothing else. But what? It says... But his word was in my heart as a burning fire right. shut up in my bones. Bro, when you in this truth, you can't stop thinking about the Lord. 24-7, yeah. you're diligently, constantly thinking about the Lord, man. Think about a lesson to do. Uh, Lord, is I'm doing enough? What is, you know, you're always going to be trying to find some type of way, man, to stay hot in the fire, man. Because when you're thinking about the Lord, man, you you will. Hey, he say, Isaiah 6, 2 and 6 say, Give him no rest, yep, man. Yep, I got it. Isaiah 62 and 7. Right. And give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And that's in prayer, man. I was reading today. David prayed seven times a day, man. Mm. Seven times, man. Okay? Which is completion. He's Man, listen. Give him no rest. That's in prayer and pushing the work, man. Stand on fire. You cannot never be out of the spirit, man. If you if you a real if you really have a spirit on you, man, from the heavenly father Yahweh when you have a shot, you're gonna constantly be on fire, man. If you ain't doing a lesson, you reading trying to come up on a lesson, man. Mm -hmm. You got that other one? Yeah, you want me to finish the 20, 29? Yeah, yeah, come on. It says, uh, and I was weary with forbearing and I could not stay. Right. Um He said, Hey, read read from the top one more time for me, bro. Come on, Jeremiah twenty and nine. Then I then I said I will not make mention of him nor speak any more in his name, but his word was in my heart as a burning fire, right. shut up in my bones, and I was weary with forbearing, and I could and I could not stay. Hey, he he he, he could not. Hey, he had to bring it out, man. Right. You're gonna constantly bring. Hey, when you sign the crime because you see all the wickedness and abomination done in this place, if you can't go to the highways and byways, you're gonna do videos. And like I said yesterday, man, if we had to go to work. Man, we'll be in the highways every day of the week, man. Bringing right. it out. Okay? Standing in the gates, man. Rebuking sharply, man. You get the other one out. I got a quick piece up real Come quick. Come bring it out. It's Amos chapter 3 and verse 8. Right. The lion have roared, who will not fear? Come. The Lord power have spoken, who can but prophesy? Right. Mm. Right. Come. Get the, get the one in um in um, Psalms 94. 16, bring you one out. Uh. I got one. Uh, Second Edges 2 and 27. Right. Be not weary... For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Hey, and that's, and, and through faith and works, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, I tell you in 2nd Arizona 9, man, through faith and works, man, you should be able to escape, right? Yep. You're gonna be you're gonna be comfortable, you're gonna be comforted in that day, man. Because Isaiah 65 and 13 say his servant shall eat, man. Hey, right. if you ain't doing the work of the Lord, you ain't no servant, man. If you sitting on your talent. Hiding in a napkin, you're not a servant of the Lord, man. If hey, is a lot of J say, oh, I got the truth, I know it was. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna sit on until the Lord comes. You can't do that, man. You supposed to be warning Jake, man. The whole duty of man is to warn Jake of the calamity that's coming, man. And if you ain't doing that, you are lukewarm and cold, man. You are not on fire for the Lord. You got it. If I may say this, the Lord said, um, blesses the servant who, who he, uh, when he comes back, he may find doom. Come, come, mm -hmm. right. And doing what, man? The work, man. Stand on fire, man. Having that zeal, man. You got it. Uh, this is, uh, I got one. This is James uh, 2 and verse 17. Even so, faith, uh -huh. if it hath not works, right. is dead being alone. Right. Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Right, man. 
Now we know according to you know what Ephesians two and eight say, you know it's a gift for the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But hey, what did Yahweh Shah say, man? Hey, he that do the will of my father, man, the same as my mother, my brother, and my sisters, man. Uh. You supposed to stay doing the work, man, no matter what. The Lord requires us to stay on fire, man. And he ain't dealing with no lukewarm brothers, man. You got to get that out, Jeremiah 5, 14. What you got right there? Psalms. Yeah, bring that out. It's Psalms 94 and 16. Right. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Right. We supposed to be rising up for the Lord, man, against the evildoers. And the two-thirds to do what? Rebuke them sharply in the gate, man. That's why Amos 5 and 10 say what? They hate him that rebuke him in the gate, man. Hey, but when you got a zeal for the Lord... You're going to constantly rebuke, man. You're going to constantly stand in the gates and bring the truth out, man. The Lord said, lift up your voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. And if you don't got fire, you ain't going to do that, man. You got it. It says, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Right. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Only elect, man. The ones that's on fire diligently, man. Now you get Jeremiah 5 and 14. This is Jeremiah 5 and 14. Right. It says, Wherefore thus saith the Lord power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. Fire, man. That's why I tell you in Revelation, man. Hey, they ain't gonna listen. Anyone that try to hurt one of those, man, they gonna burn them up with fire, man. Mean they're gonna be spiritually destroyed with the truth. Hey, like we busted Edomite down last week at camp, man. He thought he knew something, mm -hmm. but he found out he ain't know nothing, man. Hey, get our second Ezra 8 and 8. You it's, holding something up? Yeah, this is... Uh, Let me finish it, too. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it says, And this people would, and it shall devour them. Right. And it's going to... Hey, this truth devour the people, man. Okay? It burns them up, man. Only thing they can do is what? Hey, pull out guns, scarf, talking about we got on dresses. Hey, we done heard it all, man. Hey, what the song? Hey, we done seen it all before, man. And this truth, man. You got it all. Uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and I'll start at uh, verse 16. To preach the gospel in the regions beyond you, and not to boast in another man's line of right. things right. made ready to our hand, but he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Right, God. Because, hey, uh, when you preach in this word, you know, you, you, uh, you're you supposed to be... Uh, Measuring yourself by your works, right. all right, not by the uh, next man's works, and not uh -huh. by the, because everybody has a a, a particular measure, right. you know. Right. Some, hey man, some brothers, uh, the Lord has a, a many talents on brothers, you know. Uh -huh. But the ones that have that 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 milk, like the brother Malcolm would say, you're supposed to kill him with the milk. All right. You can always, always something. The Lord is always presenting something for, uh, for that milk, man, for that milk to be presented, for that milk to be brought out. You know, whether you have one talent or you have many talents, you're supposed to bring it out all according to the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shah. Because it ultimately is your faith and your works. You know, you have to seek out your own salvation Come with on. fear and trembling. If, you know, yeah, brother. If, if I may say this, you brought up that scripture in James. It says, faith without works is dead. Mm -hmm. But that goes hand in, uh, uh, both ways too. Works without faith is also dead, man. Mm -hmm. Right, you right. Can't, you, can't, you can't be putting in the work without faith, man. You can't be doing this faithfully just to man please or... or um, you know, just just doing it, just to do it, going through the motions, man. You have to actually get into this, man. Like the, I was going into, you have to have that fire, man. Running uncertainty, like right, running right. uncertainly. Right. You know, you you doing the work, but you just you, you don't believe that you got a reward at the end of the uh, at the end of the game. You know, right. uh, uh, Paul said we don't run as uncertain. You know, we run like like we gonna actually receive that reward at the end of this race, man. Right. Right. And what the right. brothers going into beautifully is like. Just like LeBron love basketball, you supposed to love this truth, man. Right, right. Them boys are diligent in that truth, in, in, in that ball playing, man. You supposed to be diligent in the truth, you know. And the Lord may have you meditating, the Lord may have you reading and gathering that knowledge so that you can bring it out properly. But either way, the brother's saying that your your genuine heart and love for this truth should always be there. It should never be going. Uh, that it should never go away, man. Right. All right. All right. Oh, select. No, you good. I got, uh, I, since you quoted it, it's 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 25. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Right. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. Right. I therefore so run not as uncertainly, so fight I not as one that beateth the air. Yeah, unpredictable, man. You don't even believe that you, you don't know if you're going to get paid or not. You just, you just showing up to the gig, just showing up to the work site. You picking up bricks and shit, you just... 
And maybe I get paid, maybe not. But right. you don't do Esau like that. Right. Your ass get Esau 110 goddamn percent. They didn't work super hard. Make, hey, check this out, boss. I made sure this was done. I made sure this was right. right. And then you you treat your how about Shemel Shah like you going to the McDonald's uh, drive through Like you working at McDonald's. You in the job with flip-flops on, man. Right, right. And like right. people ain't really going to die about this. It's like it. It's like it. Uh, my, my bad. I ain't mean to cut no, you you good. Right? You good. Uh, uh, like you were saying, like you was going into. And if you're doing that, it's impossible to please the Lord, man, because you, you're doing it without faith, man. You don't have faith in the Lord. This is Hebrews 11 and 6. Ooh. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to, to Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. Hey, hey, hey. No, you got it, brother. It's lucky. You got it, bro. You got it. Hey, and what, what the brother's bringing out beautifully is like you're supposed to have that fire no matter where, where your measure is, you know? And you can never do enough. Right. And even brothers who, who mm -hmm. uh, that's why it tells you don't compare yourselves. Don't, don't, because a brother is going hard, but a brother in his own mind don't think he's going hard enough. Right. Because you can never go hard God. enough. You know, and that's why that's the danger of comparing yourself to other brothers, man, because you got to look at your own line, your own race and your own works and measure yourself up to where you started and where you at now. Are you consistently putting out that work according to the measure that how Bashim Al Shai gave you, you know, so like it. You got it, brother. It's all good. Um, Get on. You can make a point. No, no, you got it. Huh? Get a uh, second. Edges eight and eight. All right. This is a uh, second address. Chapter eight. In verse 8. So I, and this ordained from the most high, man. Huh. Okay, he say he ordained, he ordained you, man. Okay, a prophet to the nations, man. If you was chosen, like it tell you in um mm. uh St. John 15 and 16, man. Mm. Right? Go ahead, you got it up. Huh? This is second address eight and eight. It says, For when the body is fashioned now in the mother's womb, right, and thou givest it members, thy creature is per preserved in fire mm. and water. In fire and water, man. Wow. Okay, yeah. read it one more time. Ma. It says, "For when the body is fashioned, fashioned now in the mother's womb, and though and thou givest it members, the members of what your your head, your arms, your feet, your leg, right? Go ahead. Thy creature is preserved in fire and water. Right. Go ahead. And nine months doeth thy worksmanship endure thy creature which is created in her. Hey, the Lord created you in fire and water, man. Wow. Okay." That's the spirit, man. Mm, That's yeah. the Holy Spirit, man. Get Matthew 3 and 11. Oh, what did, what did the scripture say? Uh, he made his ministers. Uh, right, right. I got fire? that too on there. I got that. Your Matter of fact, you want to get it. That's Psalm 104 and 4. Yeah, man. Matthew 3. This is Matthew 3 and 11. Right. It says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. Right. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. This John the Baptist talking about Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. Con. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Right. And with fire. And with fire, man. Okay. Heaven, you with a heavy spirit, man. You want to stay in the spirit 24-7, man. Mm-hmm. And yeah. just because you're in the spirit 24-7, you're not being over-righteous, man. Over-righteous is trying to figure out the alignment of the stars and the planets, man. Con. Yeah, you can't, you cannot, hey, the apostles did the work diligently every day, 24-7, man, okay? That's what they did. Yahweh said, put down that net, come follow me, I'm going to make you fishes of men. They let God get sealed, man. Mm -hmm. If if I may say this, uh, uh, I want to bring the description, because like you're going into, the, you, we got to always stay on fire, because... Uh, the Lord said, "Measure the times diligently." Right. And what times are we in? We we in the times where our lo the Lord our loins got to be girded like men, mm -hmm. because famine, pestilence, guillotines, all martial law, man. all calamities is coming. Uh, everything and in this Bible, man. Everything, man. The prophecy is speaking, man. Yeah. Come on. Go ahead. I ain't want to cut you. It say, uh, First Peter's one and thirteen. You all good up? Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and right. hope and and hope to the end for the grace that is. To be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah Right, Shai. man. That's why Yahweh Shah said, I, don't, I think it's in Luke, he said, Ye that have followed me in my temptations, man. Right? That's picking up that cross and following the Lord, man. God. That's staying on fire, man. Ain't no time to be slacking. This ain't 10 years ago or five years ago, whenever you came in the truth, man. This is a total. That's why what it said was that uh, uh, Romans 13 11, man. 
Now it's hey, yeah, yeah we are nearer than when we first believed, our man. Time. Yeah. And we are definitely no times now, nah, man. You got uproars in almost every country on the planet, man. Mm. Okay, uh, one of the banks, I just did a lesson before I left the Korea. One of the banks just uh the one uh, not bank, one of the major oil companies just dropped the dollar, man. Yep, in Russia. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. And, it's and guess what? Like I was saying, my bad up. No, you good. The you other good, company's man. gonna follow suit, man. It always happened like that, man. You got it up. No, what the what the brother is saying is very beautiful, man, because and we we not we not in the time of playing games, man. Like it, we getting closer and closer to that time where, hey, ain't gonna be no talking no more. Right. You know, you're not even gonna have the opportunity to bring lessons out. Come. It's gonna be a time where, hey, they gonna say, look, hey, no more of that freedom of speech. Right. And, and that's gonna be the Lord saying, look, the work is done. What you got on the plate, that's what I'm measuring. Right. Mm. And, and it's all according to the measure that you're given. Again, you know, cause this brother. This brother would do a thousand videos if the Lord let him, man. Come on, I'm telling you. Come on, huh? And then you got brothers that, that can do whatever they can. Right. You know, the Lord didn't give them that measure. You know, and you might end up trying to do 150 videos like this brother and only one of them actually be edifying. Right. Come on. So come it's on. all according to the come measure on, that the Lord gave you. Yeah. But you all, but that fire that the brother's talking about is supposed to always be here and in here. You're supposed to always be girding up your mind. You're supposed to always be receiving and watching what the Lord is doing and getting yourself prepared and meditating on walking in the Walmart and just imagining all chaos. On, and bro. you being delivered in the midst of that chaos. Not just on, all of this chaos, I wonder what's going to happen to me. That's running uncertainly. Yeah, man. Because you're doing the work. You should be confident in your how about Shimei was shot. All according to your measure. Because some brothers, you know, some brothers are help. Some brothers are motivation. Motivate, uh, motivational to other brothers, man. Right. They yeah. there for counsel. Yeah. Some brothers uh, are are there for help. When brothers are down, when brothers are out financially or whatever the case may be, brothers are there to. Because we all have different measures, but the brothers bring it out beautifully. If the Lord got the spirit on you to be able to edify people uh, through your videos, then your ass need to be edifying. The, you need to be edifying brothers to the fullest extent. Come if on. that's your measure, Come on, man. even with your milk, you're supposed to be going hard, man. Cause there's gonna come a time when we're not gonna be, we're not gonna have the luxury of doing videos. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why I say in uh, Second Edges, be not weary. Don't look. Don't be tired. Because when when the world is tired, you are gonna be happy. Come on. Cause you were tired when they were having fun. Right. So don't even trip. Go hard while you on the court now. Cause when I when I blow the whistle and the, and, and and everybody go sit down and we gonna ring up the stats right. and whatever you got on the stat board, that's it. Ain't no. Ain't no adding to it or taking away from it. Nah, nah. And, and if I may say this, I just, I, my bad. Huh? No, you good, you good, go ahead. If I may say that, I just did a lesson, uh, don't be too late. You don't want to have that feeling of being too late when, when the doors of mercy close. Right. Mm. When Yahweh Shai comes, you don't want to be like, damn, you know? Because right. you, you, we all been late to something. Uh, I don't know if you've been, like, late to something important or whatever. You know, Come on, you, you know, late. Jake. You, you know, know Jake what I'm saying? You pull up five minutes. Come, Come on, bro. Yeah. And you late, and you just like, damn, bro, I, I missed the shit. Mm -hmm. How much more is that feeling going to be magnified when you realize that, wow, the, the prophet's not on the street no more. Mm -hmm. Can't mm -hmm. do no more videos. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the martial law. Oh, shit. And how much worse if you never did a video? The moment you want to pull your hand to the plow, it's over with. The moment you want to take your jersey off, you want to take your warm-ups off, and I think I'm ready to try to shoot. Right. Hey, game over, bro. Game over. Gone. You know, you don't want that feeling, man. That's that. That's going to be shame and contempt in the midst of all hell. Gone. You already got to uh, look at mm. the fact that all hell is breaking loose. And then in the back of your mind, while you, you know, you going out here trying to survive, in the back of your mind, you could have did the work and you didn't. You yeah. could have shot and you didn't shoot. Like it's serious business right now. It's 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 luxury right now. Mm -hmm. Everybody got liberty to do as they please. When the door is closed, there is no opportunity for you to go on the other side of the door wherever you land at. Right. You got it up. I just want to say, hey, and you Jakes that sitting on them talents, man. Ooh. Hey, you gonna be destroyed, man. That's dangerous. You sitting on them talents, man. The Lord gave you, they gave you the wisdom not to understand it, and you know, man. You sitting watching GMS, you watching Sakari, you watching all these other camps. You got the whole truth, man. And you getting, you watching GMS, getting the whole truth and other camps, getting bits and pieces, and you still sitting on it, man. Hey, the, the Lord gave you the mind to receive it, bro. Right. Like, that's, that in itself is <laughs> a miracle. Right. That, right. Hey, that, take, that takes great labor. I mean, right. the, the Lord had to preserve you from all the dumb shit you did. Come on. 
real. And he had to make sure you got directed to the truth and he opened your mind, the door of your mind to receive it. Right. And you just holding it. Just sitting on it, man. Yeah, you got that bring a piece that bought up. Yeah, oh, Psalm 104. Got it. Psalms 104. And four, I'm reading like we outside. <laughs> Come on, bro. Who making his angels, spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. Hey, ain't that what it is, man? The Lord make the Lord, hey, he said he make his angels, spirits, and his ministers flame of fire, man. And the ministers is who, man? The prophets, man. Okay? You got the angels and you got the ministers, man. Which is the prophets, man. The servants. And they're gonna do the work, they're gonna do the work diligently, man. And they're gonna stay on fire. I gotta preach that this second Ezra, chapter 14. In verse uh, 38, it reads, And the next day, behold, a voice called me, saying, Ezra, open thy mouth and drink that I give thee to drink. Then open out my mouth, and behold, oh, he reached me a full cup, which was full of, which it say, which was full as it were water, but the color of it was like fire. Woo. And I took it and drank it, and when I had drunk of it, my heart uttered understanding mm. and wisdom grew in my breast for my spirit strengthened my memory, man. Mm. Whoa! Then the Lord says he's going to uh, uh, start. Though you once knew this. Right. Though you once knew right, this. Right, bro. That's what wow. they're talking about. Look, Ezra said, hey, he gave me a cup full as it was water, but it was the color like fire, man. And he said, as soon as I drank it, he said, uh, as soon as I drank it, mm. when I had drunk it, my heart uttered understanding. And wisdom grew in my breast, for my spirit strengthened my memory, man. That's going to constantly keep you on fire, man. 